Hey everyone, Demise here. Welcome to another Artery Gear video. So, this is going to be an ongoing series. Uh, I've realized on the Discord that uh, many of you have been asking me what sets I should equip my unit with and uh, what I should be aiming for stat wise for end game or late game gear. Um, so, this is going to be an ongoing series for me to explain to you all the knowledge that I have. Uh, of of uh, gearing uh, from the CN server, and uh, I would say that I am uh, end game over there while I'm trying to get out of the the mid game gearing uh, hurdle on the JP server. So I'm going to do a early to mid game video, which is what this video will be focused on, with all my notes here, and of course I'll post this in the description. And uh, I'm going to talk about the uh, mid to late game gearing uh, using my CN uh, account as a reference, so you can see what the gears look like. And then uh, I'm going to talk about gear sets and rules, uh, the transfer stat system and the upgrade stat system as uh, it is different on the JP server versus the CN server. So once I've got those resources set up, I will show you how they work. And then lastly, uh, after I've done these videos, I'll probably in a week or two reach the end game gear farming status, and then I can showcase what, uh, what that looks like. So without further ado, this video is going to be about the early and game, uh, mid game players. So. For the early and mid game players, the definition, the time frame of this, uh, and again, this is more of a personal uh, take on this, is you've just started the game or you're a few days in, you're working to clear story and on the JP server, it's the um, episode seven is the furthest we have, um, normal and hard. Uh, so you're working to clear that and um, you are going to uh, uh, farm hunts along the way uh, and uh, at this stage, I would say that you're not able to do the last few stages, but you can do six and above. And for six and above, you're able to get six star, uh, sorry, five star gears. Whereas starting at uh, the seventh level, you'd be able to get the six stars. So that's my definition of um, early to mid game. And um, the time frame I would set is about four days. You could technically do it in two days if you really, really rush this. But four days to two weeks is what I consider to be probably a reasonable time frame. Okay. After that, um, I'll talk about the gear sources, as in where do your gears come from at this stage? So for a re relatively new player, um, most of your gear will come from the uh, tutorial quest line, which is the banner here. I've completed it so you can see, but the tutorial quest line will give you a bunch of gear that is um, quite useful as you're clearing the story. Mainly, it's going to give you the, let's take a quick look, uh, the attack free set. Uh, which I think I've equipped on Sirius at the moment. Yeah, so five star attack sets. Um, and the story also gives you a, a, a HP set. Uh, I don't think I have it on my Alice, but the HP set and a defense set. These are just essentially what gives you the early power spike you need to get through the game. Um, so after the Tor quest line, and if you don't know, some of the Japanese wording asking in Discord, we have translators um, translating the quests if you're stuck or anything. So just ask away. And uh, for the uh, Queen's quest line, it'll give you an end game set of gear. So what that looks like is over here. And if we look at the equipment, so these bar this one, which I got are the the free set it's got four substats it's six star golden plus the two um crit uh subset uh, sub pieces that you'll get from the queen's quest line and uh, those are gears that even after you reach end game they are really really good um you can upgrade them still with the upgrade mechanics but they've got attack uh crit um crit rate the only thing that you can even make this better Oops, sorry about that, is to have the um, effectiveness as speed. But it's pretty much really amazing. Look at this, attack, attack percentage, crit, crit rate. So very, very, very good. And you'll be using this pretty much until the um, very end, end game. Um, so the que Queen's quest lines here. Again, if you're stuck uh, asking the Discord, you only have to complete step six to get the set of a six star attack piece. So 
if you're like me, I haven't even done step seven yet, but I'm just leaving it because there's nothing um, uh, urgent for me to uh, to complete this. So after that, um, you are going to get the rest of the gear from Hunt's pre-stage seven. So again, five star gear. Personally, I wouldn't try to waste too much time on it. If you look in my video guides previously, I have a day four guide jumping into farming six star gears. However, if you really, really want to, you can. I think my Shihaya, yeah, she's using, so those two crit sets are from Ink Stories. This is uh, farmed and she's missing boots. Mm -hmm. I'll just throw something on her later. But uh, basically, those five star gears are what's going to just help you get through the hunts hurdle later on, help you uh, farm that stage seven, eight, and nine. Um, so I wouldn't recommend, um, you know, spending too much time or stamina there. And your last resource, and one thing that people, I guess, don't really know too much about, is actually the shop. So in the early game, um, so it's in this tab, let me show you in the uh, shop system right here. Uh, so you start like this and then you click on this tab to access the uh, the weapons. But for the shops, <clears throat> as you can see, I did buy some already. Um, it's going to be tied to the furthest hunt stage. So if you didn't clear, uh, I think, 7, 8, or 9, it's not going to show you 6-star gears. Um, so you only see 5-star maximum here. But every day uh, before it's going to cause you gems, you get 20 free refreshes. So you can refresh for some speed sets that have uh, if they have this banner that means they have a golden substat guaranteed um, so you can just buy them uh, I still do this even though I'm pretty much at the end of mid game as I'm looking for a specific set uh, fishing for that uh, golden substat because you could get a maximum I think one of my plus 14 or 15 speed set came from there so it's a very good source but again don't waste too much gold on it because gold is pretty scarce um, because uh, you need to be looking at uh, six star gears relatively soon okay so back into the list um, so I talked about the gear sources where your gears are going to come from the time frame the definition of early to mid game gear farming um, next is what to keep so this is more of a current goal for early to mid game um, it's looking at uh, what sets should you have completed around this stage. So we talked about the free five star attack set um, and bring that to plus six, it's the one I have on series. And I bring the boot, I brought the boot to plus 12 or plus 15 because one of the, um, the quest line required it. And this is going to be before you complete the step six of the queen's quest line. So um, yeah it's not going to be a waste you can put it on your secondary dps and then you get your free two piece six star crit set plus 15 that and then your free six uh, star attack set uh, plus 15 that you can see that these two are what i have on my grace your four star i believe hp set and your four star defense set you can plus six them and then equip them on two other characters one the hp set goes on the healer which be should be morris because uh, you get her for free and then defense set you can put on someone i put it on alice when i was doing uh story mode uh, just so that she is a bit tanky and can survive help me get that three star as i'm clearing and then for one thing i did forget to mention in the shop is you should grab the two effectiveness uh set that is five star in the arena shop and, uh, right here so in the second tab of the arena shop grab these two they are not bad at all i believe it's three two purple or one uh, one blue or three purple substats with uh with uh, correlated or um correct substats for the effectiveness set so you can slap a speed set on the first four slots and slap the two uh, effectiveness for the last two and uh, you have a very good speedy debuffer that you can use so these are the things i would grab and you can see that pretty much everything is free this is technically free you just need to fight in arena a tiny bit maybe in a week you'll get this for free basically um yeah and grab speed sets in the shop i showed earlier so that pretty much sums up, uh, sums up your mid game. Um, your current goal as you exit out of the mid game is to have a six star Ginga slash farmer. So for me, it was Ginga, six star first, and Grace, 
a six star. Um, the Ginga essentially lets you push your hunts to farm for six star units, and the farmer allows you to fodder farm easier. And then you should come out with the following sets I talked about earlier. Uh, and once you reach that stage, you should be able to make a four team, five team unit that is um, pretty much a one size fit all to clear most of story, clear hunts, clear all the different modes, as well as do PvP. Um, and then that is truly the end of early to mid game gear farming. Uh, so I end my video here in just a um, expansion on what's coming up next. I'll talk about the gear sets, the rules of the substats and um, the transfer stat system, the upgrade stat system. And then after that video, I'll talk about the mid to late game. Uh, there's two parts. Uh, one is going to be similar to this video, the goals, what you should get, the sets, and then what to keep. I think it's per imperative that I create a video that uh, shows kind of my process of how I sift through gear. Uh, because I would say gear selection is actually a big component of the game and it can be mind numbing. So if you have a set of rules, it just makes the process a lot easier and uh, you don't lose a lot of time and fun during that uh, tedious work. So yeah, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, leave a like and comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one.